Hello everybody. I'm back today to try out these little molds that I got not too long ago and there's four of them. Anyway, I'm super excited to see how they turn out and I've already mixed up some resin. I've got about eight ounces mixed up here. I don't expect it to take more than about probably five or six ounces, but um, just wanted to make sure I've got enough. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some here into this cup. Pretty much don't have any bubbles in here. I might kind of separate this out. We might do, you know, the same colors but slightly different. I think I'm going to be using bronze color here and just a tad bit of coffee and see if that is a pretty good color for our deer. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a little scoop of bronze and get this going in here and I think we might take actually let's see do we want to try maybe these two we might actually even try doing um, painting them with mica powder and see what the difference would be between the two okay so ooh, this is really a pretty color might be a pretty color for a baby deer. Let's see, I wonder if you think it's too orangey looking. I don't know, it's really pretty though. This is Let's Resin in bronze. It's actually really pretty. I don't think actually that I'm going to add, no, I'm not going to add any coffee to this. I decided I'm just going to use just plain bronze, okay? And it's a little bit translucent. So I'm going to put just another little bit in there, okay. Okay, here's our color, looks really pretty, it's got kind of a metallic, but these, um, these molds are not glossy, they're not shiny, so um, it's going to just turn out with a little bit of a texture, I believe. I'm going to wipe off my stick. Can we use it here? Okay. All right, I'm going to give it a spray of alcohol. And I'm going to set it aside for just a minute. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here is we're going to be working inside of these molds that have the deer ears and a tail that are kind of stuck way inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of stretch this out a bit. I'm going to find those ear holes and I'm going to go ahead and put a bit of alcohol in them. To hopefully, hoping to um, not get bubbles in there when we get the, when we pour this inside. Okay, and where's the other one? Way down in there. Okay, that kind of I don't know if you can see, but the ears way down in there, but these are so super stretchy, you can just kind of bend them outwards and um, and get down there to them. So I got alcohol in all these, I'm gonna roll it around a little bit and then um, kind of turn it up down and shake it. I don't want too much in there. You don't want a, a puddle of alcohol because that will give you a completely different effect and it's not what we want today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of really slowly pour this in and see if I can get into those crevices. It's kind of similar, I don't know if you've done the, the snail mold, but it's kind of similar to that when you're I'm kind of dealing with those long um, snail tentacle things. You've kind of got to do the same thing where you're kind of stretching the mold out and pinching it together to making sure, just making sure. I you're may have um, lost you for part of this feed. I'm not sure why. I finished going ahead and filling these two up with my bronze color here and um, they're just sitting aside while we come over and look at, at these 
and what I wanted to do was to get my paintbrush out here and try doing these with the mica powder. We're going to do these and see what happens. I think I can at least get inside here with the um, where the ears are. The only problem I might have is trying to clean this back out later. Okay, this is what we've got going so far. Okay, I'm just kind of going around making sure this is the head. I'm making sure I've got it all covered in there. Okay, I'm going to pat this upside down in my trash and get rid of this excess powder. Okay, so I'm going to still go ahead and just spray this lightly with my alcohol. I'm not sure what that's going to do inside the ears. I don't want it to like completely wash away the the mica powder, which it might, but I've got to do this, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour this with the clear. Well, let's see, I guess maybe we should use this up first. Shouldn't matter a whole lot. We should still be able to see if we've got any little bit of a difference there with using the mica powders around the edge. Clean this up real quick. And my alcohol spray is right here. Another spray, another spray. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of this up with clear. Okay, I keep losing you guys. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to check on my camera. I don't know if it's the memory or what's going on. I have plenty of battery in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and hurry up and finish this up, okay? So I'm not sure where I lost you, but these two we filled with the bronze mica powders. This one, we painted the inside with mica powder and then filled it partly with bronze resin and the other half with clear. And then this one, we are just doing all, we're filling it with, we painted it with the mica powder and then we're filling it with clear, okay? And I'm just trying to work on getting, making sure that we get resin all the way down inside of those really narrow little spots. And we're just about done with this part. Okay, resin's getting pretty hot. There we go. All right, you guys, this is done and I will be back to unmold these and then in the meantime, I'll figure out why I keep losing you. All right, I'll see you then. Hello everybody, I'm back to demold our little deer here. They are completely cured, they sat overnight. So I'm super excited to see how they turned out. Okay, so um, this one we did mica powders in and filled the rest with clear resin, okay? And I believe, uh, let's see here. I'm trying to remember, there was one, might have been this one that I did um, 
mica powders and then filled it part way with the colored resin and then the rest of the way with clear. And I think these two were all filled with just the colored resin. Okay, <laughs> trying to get all that all out so I can remember which was which. So let's start with one of these. And these kind of molds, they just usually just come apart really easily. And you can just kind of stretch them away, being careful kind of not to tear the inside. Get out one of those ears there. I think the color of these turned out just super cute for a little baby deer. Oh my goodness. And there is this one. This one is laying on its side. What do you think? How cute is this? So all of these little baby deer are sleeping. They've got some little embedded dots on their head. And I don't, yeah, they do have a few on their back. So we could come in and do just like a little paint marker, white, or yeah, probably white dots on there and maybe on the tail if we want to. And then on the little face, just maybe a little black line where their eyelids would be closed and maybe a bit on the nose there. But what do you think? What about this color too? I mean, it's just super cute. Okay, that one turned out really cute. Love it. Love it, love it. So now let's see what this one was here. This one, let's see, here's his little tail. I'm gonna kind of get this one out that way first. I gotta work on his head. There we go, okay. Now this one, okay, now this one is lying on its side with his little head turned. How cute, and you can see we have a little bit of a variation here um, with the colors where the bronze kind of like has a little bit of a mottled look, which I actually love. It gives him a little bit of character so that they all, their colors won't look completely identical. See how they'll have a little bit of differences here and there, which is good. So cute. Goodness sakes. Okay. This is the one I believe had, um, that we've painted with mica powders and then we came back and filled it with some colored and then some clear. So we'll see how this one turned out. This one is laying on its tummy and all. Oh my gosh, really cute. So wow, you guys, look at the difference. Look at the difference in the color between painting it with the mica powder first and just filling the mold with the colored mica powder. You know, I don't think I've ever done this on the same project before to see the difference. Um, but yeah, you can, you can definitely tell the difference. Really interesting. Okay. Cute. My gosh, really cute. Okay. And then this one is the one that's painted with mica powder, but then also filled with clear. So let's see. The difference with this one get your little tail out of there what okay cute oh my goodness so this one this one is sleeping and he's on his back with the little bird here and oh my goodness how cute are these just adorable so we have two that were done with the mica powders two that were filled with the colored resin and gosh you guys I can't even tell you what would be my favorite because they all have their, they all have their own little cute qualities. Now, I guess if you want a more even tone all throughout, then you might want to use paint with the mica powders first. Because you see there's no variations in these. They're just, the colors are just really uniform, okay? And then these that were poured with the colored resin, Definitely have some little variations through them. Um, this one has like some little bit of bunching up here where it kind of gives some lines. Same with this one too. And yeah, oh my gosh, I, I don't even know what I would prefer. They're also cute. Okay, so I am going to have to find my fine black tip marker to do their, come in and finish their little eyes, and I'm gonna just do the tips of their nose. And, um, and then we can decide if we wanna do the white dots on their head and on their backs. 
could just really be cute. Okay, well, I'm gonna think that part through and then I'll be back with the next step. I'm gonna bring you in for a closer look before we do the next step. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've got my Sharpie, my ultra fine point Sharpie. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to use this on just the little closed eyelids down here and on each of these and maybe just on the tips of their nose and see if this will work, okay? And I'm sure you probably all have ideas of different ways that you could do this. I do have some acrylic paint here, but I don't trust that I could do that really tiny on these little fine lines. But I'm gonna give this a try. Let's see if this will work. Just kinda and I've got little eyelashes here on the end. I might have to get my glasses. Okay, let's see. The, where the little eyelids are, at least they're nice and deep, so you can just stick your, if you have a fine pin, just stick it in there and it's kind of, knock on wood, hard to mess it up. <laughs> but um, then their little eyelashes are a little fainter, but still gives you a little outline to use. Okay? And so now I'm going to just do a little bit here on the tip of his nose. There we go. His little face is coming in. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can go ahead and do the mouth. Okay, there's that part of this deer. Okay, it's pretty cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna try. This was one that was painted with the resin, with the mica powder, I mean, sorry. And so that was these two. And then these were the two that were poured with the colored resin with the mica powder. So I'm going to see if these will, um, they should do just the same because the outside mold is the same. Okay, cute. Okay, super cute. They're all kind of coming together. Okay. 
Okay, so there are those. Got a little bit of a brown. You can see how it would look with brown, and then I could come back and put a little white spot maybe in the middle of it. Let's see. Okay, the, the little the little bit of a brown spot isn't bad. See any more spots back there. So we might try this. On his little head here. Okay, actually that's kind of cute on there. I think I'm gonna leave it with the brown. Okay, there are those. Maybe we'll try this gold on the antlers. Let's see. There we go. Maybe we want to do just a little bit of a tip here on the tail. So there's our baby deer. Now, only thing I've got left to do is figure out what I want to do with that little bird there. This is a red. Let's see if we can get this to come here out on a red. I don't know if it's going to work. We can try. Now just do, paint the little birds, do the little round dots on the eyes. Just got some little tiny eyes here. Okay, so we'll see we've got done it here with his little black eyes. I guess we'll do gold for the beak. Okay, all right, you guys. Um, I think for right now, I'm done with these because, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I kind of want to go back in and do a little white spot in the middle of those brown spots, but I'm not gonna do that right now. But I will bring you, I'm gonna take you off the camera stand here and I'll come in closer so that you can get a better look at these now that we've kind of used our paint markers and a couple sharpies and they just turned out adorable okay so i'm gonna do that now Here they all are. They turned out so cute. Alright you guys, 
So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you had fun and enjoyed making these with me and also that you were able to kind of experiment with me and see the difference between using the resin that was mixed with mica powder and the difference between um, just going ahead and painting the inside of the mold with the mica powder. Okay, you can definitely see kind of a difference of, of how they turned out. They're both super cute. It would just probably be a matter of preference maybe. This one, that style has kind of more depth to it and you can kind of see the variations in it. This one is all very uniform in color with no variations. Those two that we did and here's the other one with the mica powders painted on to the mold. Okay, so anyway, I'd love to know which one you prefer and let me know what you think of this project. Thanks everybody. I will see you next time.